I'll, uh, I'll begin. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Deb. Uh, and welcome, everyone. Uh, I, I must say, with this many of us at the panelist table, uh, plus Deb and others in the room, if we can't figure out this problem right. and, and come up with a solution as we walk out the door tonight, then we surely <laughs> are in trouble. So I, I think we have all the expertise uh, assembled. Uh, I'm here representing, uh, as was uh, stated, the Grand Valley State University Merrick Center in Muskegon, and we touch on a, a variety uh, of, of energy issues, a broad range of energy technologies are of interest to us, but wind has been uh, of, of special interest in the last year and a half or so, and so I'll, I'll sort of focus my remarks on that and just make a few opening comments and then pass uh, to my right. Um, I'd like to begin by talking to people about energy by, by, by framing the issue a bit with some, some initial thoughts for you and, and some observations. Uh, the first is that energy use and energy generation, energy consumption, as we have known it, as we sit here this evening, um, is not a status quo option. That is to say, energy going forward will look different. Uh, it just will, no matter whether we are comfortable with that or uncomfortable, the fact is, Energy as we have done it, if you will, the last 100 years or more is not how we are going to do it in the next 10, 20, or 30 years. And so we are at a, at a point in time where we have to consider alternatives, where we have to embrace new technologies, where we have to change mindsets, and where we have to uh, shed some old models uh, in terms of, of how we conduct our energy business. Uh, the second item I would, would note, uh, and I think these comments are ones that, that the other panelists can perhaps relate to as well, and we'll probably speak to them in one way or another. The other item is that the future that we're all looking at is going to bring us a, a very different mix of energy. Uh, to be sure, the, the existing energy sources that we know of, uh, uh, coal, gas, oil, um, uh, hydro in some locations, uh, those are not going away. Uh, but they will change. Uh, there is increasing demand for a, a, a finite uh, set of resources uh, as we have other parts of the globe coming up to speed on energy, as we look at India, as we look at China, as we look at uh, previously underdeveloped countries that are developing a middle class. Uh, they too want their fair share of the energy pie and we are going to have to compete with them for uh, those resources. Um, we're going to have to compete not only in terms of sheer availability, but price and so forth. And so um, we've enjoyed the luxury of about 150 years or so of having pretty much exclusive use of a large chunk of the world's uh, energy resources, and we are now faced with the reality of having to share those. Um, getting closer to home, the issue of wind, I would say that, uh, simply stated, the genie is out of the bottle when it comes to wind. Uh, regardless of how we feel about wind, um, wind is here to stay. Uh, probably a hundred years ago or so, there were people who wished that the that darn newfangled internal combustion engine would just go away. If we could just have Henry Ford just pack up and take it elsewhere, because we didn't really need that. Well, here we are 100 years later, and it's here to stay, and we're, we're working with it and dealing with it, and in many cases, most cases, taking full advantage of it. I would offer, offer that the same is true of wind. Wind energy has been developed technically. Uh, it is improving by the day. It is already being exploited effectively in many parts of the world. Uh, here in this country, we have a tremendous amount of onshore wind, and we are now looking at the deployment of offshore wind. Um, and again, I would say you can't reverse the calendar on this one. You can't stuff the wind genie back in the bottle. I think we're going to have to take full advantage of the new opportunities that wind energy presents to us and, um, and work with it as we have with every other technology. I think I'll leave it at that and, uh, and pass over to Mike. 